Thank you for doing this interview. No so I'd like to ask you first, say, what was it like to be back in Buenos Aires? I fucking hate it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hate it. <laughs> it's amazing. It's great. It's great. Never, it never, it never disappoints. Uh, I've been coming here. Actually, somebody just told me it's, 20, it's 16 years ago to the very day that we first landed in Buenos Aires with Oasis. So, um, I've, I've, it's a love affair that keeps growing and growing and growing, and uh, I genuinely love it. Yeah, I love it. Well, you played Luna Park say on Wednesday. That was yeah. the first time you played Buenos Aires, actually. And during that trip, during that tour, you met Maradona, right? Yes. Is it true? So he asked you to sign up to kiss the hand and of God. God. Yeah, yeah, that was the first thing he said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was amazing. Amazing meeting him. Uh, it was in the Sheraton Hotel in 1997 or 98, 98 maybe. And uh, it was such a thrill to meet him. And somebody is taking a picture, and uh, do you know where that picture is? No. Have a guess. It's above my mother's fireplace. Don't say it, really. In Manchester, yeah, <laughs> in the house that we grew up in. Oh my God. She in loves Burnage. Yes, yeah, she loves my <laughs> yeah. So, no, you've been here for a few days now. You visited Boca Juniors ground yeah. yesterday. Do you live up to your expectations? I mean, was it your yeah, first time there? Uh, it's my first time at the ground, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, we went to see Carlitos, and uh, yeah, it's great. I've been to the I've been to the area before, mm -hmm. but I've never been into the stadium. Um, it's an amazing part of town and great, really, really beautiful people, and uh, we had a great time. And I know you love football. I know you love football. Say, so how would you describe Kalita Stevens as a player? Oh. Let's put it this way: every club he's ever played for, ever, the fans adore him to this day that means that he's always always played with his heart and he fights to the end and he's a great goal scorer they loved him at Man United and they loved him at Man City there's not any player in the history I think maybe maybe only two there's a guy called Brian Kidd and a guy called Dennis Law who played for City and United who both City and United fans really fucking love Carlos is up there with them and they're like proper Mancunian legends. Mm -hmm. And uh, Juventus fans love him. Boca love him. Yeah. He's, he's, a great, he's a great he's a great footballer. He's so great you fan. went to Boca Juniors Ground yesterday and we met you say there at Carlos' shop, yes, this vintage store here yeah. in Buenos Aires, yes? I mean what can you tell us about that? What you found? I mean did you like it? Did you like the store? Uh, it, yeah, I mean I I heard about it through my friend of mine from my, uh, from back home in England called Gary Ashton who uh, has made a documentary about it, as you know. And um, it's, it's an amazing thing to see what Carlos has done and kept all the old stock and stuff like that. And uh, it's an amazing thing and a little bit sad at the same time. Um, but it was great, you know, to see, to see that many Adidas boxes is fucking fucked up. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was good days, nice to meet him, but then he got his fucking Man United shirt out, yeah. so he spoiled him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I know you're a big Adidas fan, yes? Um, do you remember the first pair you bought? Yeah, a pair of Adidas Kick. Uh, my parents got them for me, uh, would have been in the s late 70s maybe. Um, I think they were Kick anyway. There's this thing about the brand, right, in the northwest of England, right, that everyone loves the brand, right? Yeah, it, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not a thing that's unique to the northwest of England, but it's certainly more prevalent in Liverpool and Manchester than anywhere else in the country. As for why that is, I don't think anybody truly knows, but um, it's something that's still prevalent to this day. Adidas trainers in, uh, or Adidas as we call them in Manchester, uh, in Manchester and Liverpool. And there was always a rivalry, not only between the football clubs, but the supporters. Yeah. When you used to go to their ground and they would come to your ground, who had the best trainers? <laughs> and who had the best tracksuits? It's fucking crazy. Incredible. And no way, we met Gary last year, yeah? You've been friends with him, say, for the past 20 yeah. years, he told me. What do you make, say, of his new Adidas special range? I think it's 
he was always talking about it. But when I first met Gary, he was uh, he was the the middleman between the the company and like rock star celebrities, whatever. whatever. And uh, I know he's very, very, very. He's an expert on doing this. He's very passionate about it. And it, it was always his dream to do his own collection. And when he finally came to saying he was going to do it, I was like, okay, great. You know? and, uh, but then when I finally, when you finally see it, it really is amazing. Some of the shoes he's made have been fucking like classics. Yeah. And uh, some of the clothes are great. Uh, and I hope he carries on doing it for a long, long time because it's reinvigorated the brand almost, I think. Mm. And, uh, you know, it's really high quality stuff and it looks great and it feels great. And I've been in, I've been in Gary's office with, you know, four, five different prototypes of the same shoe. And they've all looked great. And then he's pointed out to me the sort of flaws in every one and I'm like, oh, Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it's an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. I know what you like for the pub, City's new coach, right? Pep, and yeah. yeah, and Bayern player said the other day that Pep threatened, yes, yeah, to cut the balls off. off yeah. Yes. <laughs> Do you think this is exactly say what City needs to win their first I Champions so. League? I think so. I mean, it's not. You know, it's like. Just because Guardiola's going to come, it doesn't really mean that we're going to then go on and win the Champions League, although I, I, I expect it will give us a better chance. Only because he will be able to attract the better players, because players want to play for great managers, and he's a great manager. There's like him and Mourinho and Ancelotti. And I, think, um, I, think, I think he's coming at the right time, because I think our team is... He's a bit old now, you know, there's not many young players, so maybe you can lower the age of the squad. And uh, I think, I think we're all hoping it's going to be exciting times. And over the past few years, there's been many out of time players, right? Now, Pep on the bench, yes, aware on the pitch. Do you think they're missing my joint city? I don't think so. I would, I hope he stays at Barcelona, because he should only ever play for Barcelona. I think it would be a. I think it would be a great thing if. Uh, I mean, it would be a great thing if he came to City, obviously. But I think, for the sake of world football and the bigger picture, for him always to be picked as a Barcelona kid would be an amazing thing. And no, say speaking of football, you said some time ago that you tried to start your own chant. Yes, back in the day at Main Road. Was that your first interest in songwriting? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I think, I think the chant was already written. I just used to sing it. But I'm. I, I, I'm I mean, when I when I first would stand on the Kipax at Main Road and see all these people singing all at the same time, as I remember thinking, "Fucking hell!" Wow. And uh, then, of course, then you fast forward so many years, and then they're all singing your songs on the same terraces. It's, you think back to that child and think, "Wow, fucking maybe maybe there was a connection there." I don't know. I know there, there's this thing about all seater grounds, yes, and all terraces. I mean. What, what do you think about that? I mean, do you well, I, th I mean, I think it's, it's, it's sad that people have to sit down, but there's a reason that they have to sit down, is because they fucking can't behave themselves when they stand up. And, you know, as much as we all used to like standing up at football matches, when my children go to a football match, I'd like to think that they're going to be safe. And uh, unfortunately, it's the people that spoil it. For, it's the fucking idiots that spoil it for everyone else. Yeah, he has said to present Chasing Yesterday, right? So you've really released two solo albums already. And you are said to be working on the third one. Already, uh, yeah. Can, can fans yes, expect any new music anytime soon? Not Not any time. No, I'm on this tour till September. So then September, I probably might take the rest of the year off and start in 2017. So maybe not. No. And say um, previously you worked, you collaborated, or Johnny Mark collaborated with you, Johnny Jason. Yes. Do you yes. think there'll be any collaborations like, I don't know, Damon Albarn, for instance? Oh, maybe. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Damon might play on one track, but then again, he might not. Okay. Yeah. And no, I'll say uh, there was a rumor of the Roses releasing a new album. Do you think that this, I mean, this is the right time for them to do that? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I've, I'm, I only know the same as you. 
if they were to release a new album, it would be great for their fans. Let's see. Yeah. And then a few last questions saying, no, Ashcroft is back. Yeah. Yes. With a new solo album. Do you see yourself doing something with him in the future? I think it would be a great collaboration to have him sing, sing some songs for sure, because he's got a great voice and he's a, he's a Although he's a Man United fan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And Noel say, finally, if you bumped into little Noel down the streets of Burnage in Manchester, what advice would you give him? To just fucking enjoy himself. There's no advice I could give him because I never had any advice of anybody. And I got this far and I still love it. I don't have any regrets. I've ended up in a, in a, in a, in a great place. You know, I get to travel the world and my fan base is getting younger. Mm. Just, you know, mm -hmm. okay. write the best songs you can. Yeah. Thanks very much. No, no worries, ma'am. Thank you very much.